Hello, my name is Mike, and today I'll show you how to create scrolling ticker with this color solution. A ticker is a great way to share internal news and information. This is a disk alert dashboard, so you click here first on alerts and then choose create ticker. You can start from, you can choose a predefined um, message templates in case of email outage, for example, or some event. But you also can start from a scratch. First, I enter a title. Without it, I can send an alert. Then I type the text. Congratulations, our product has been mentioned in Forbes. Click, sorry, click here to find out more. Then I can make the text bold, italic, underline, uh, or strike through. This is a kind of easy to use. Uh, what you see is what you get editor, and it's quite user friendly. So I want to make it red. This should be also bold. And here I want to insert a hyperlink that gonna lead the user to the Forbes.com. Okay. Here I can change the skin. Let's say it's gonna be red. And here I can change the default ticker speed to make it faster, go faster or slower. I make it a little bit faster. And here I can preview my ticker. Okay, that's fine, but I want to for text to be more visible. Okay, should we preview one more time? Yeah, that's better. And here we going to alert settings. There is a bunch of settings and just briefly about them. High priority alert uh, means that alert will be delivered no matter what. Even though if the end user has a lock screen or chose unobtrusive mode, it doesn't matter and the alert still uh, pop up on the end user screen. Acknowledgement means that the recipient should acknowledge that he saw the alert. Uh, he cannot close the alert until he confirm the receipt. Unobtrusive mode, um, that means that alert doesn't pop up on a desktop and appears as notification on a tray icon in here. So this is um, this icon uh, will change the color to the red and there is going to be a number of unread messages. Self-destruct alert, that means alert self-destruct after closing and there is going to be no record on the history in here. Auto close option uh, means to ensure that the um, user that the alert will um, stay on the end user screen for predefined time, let's say for five minutes, and the user cannot close it, or you can allow the manual close. It's up to you. And the lifetime means um, let's say it's going to be four hours. That means that's uh, message uh, will be le relevant uh, during the next four hours and if the end user will be active or would log in during these four hours they would receive the message but if they would log in later they would receive nothing let's leave it like that and then we can schedule the alert it could be the ones or could be sent daily weekly etc uh, we can change the alert appearance um, and by default, it's on the bottom of screen, but you can make it on the middle or at the top of the screen. And we can choose additional messaging channels. We also can send the alert through email or SMS. Then I press Save and Next. And I should select the recipients. I'm choosing myself from here. And press Send. Let's wait for a moment.
and here we are here's our ticker breaking news congratulations our product has been mentioned in Forbes oh such such a good news uh, let's find out more here's going to be an article about our product excellent okay so I've just shown you how to send a desktop scrolling ticker with the desk alert scrolling ticker, you can deliver breaking news about your company or industry. Send links to your latest corporate media releases, communicate in case of emergency, and much more. If you need more information about this feature and this color solution, check out our website or try our online demo. You'll find links below the video. Thank you for watching and have a good day.